definitely kill him. That's the case. Okay, he's gonna head. Extend on me here. Get some speed. And swing it around. Boost oh, that didn't make straight. any. Oh, that's a turret shooting, that's why. Yep. And then up strafe here and up strafe to the right. Now I can extend it. I'm gonna drop my altitude. Where is the motherfucker? Get him off us! Yeah, I lost that one because I couldn't turn on you fast enough. Got too much airspeed. Let us get our shields up. This could be bad for you. Yep, now I'm re I've reset it. Return. I'll have one more shot here. Get oh, him, get that him, was. Get him. Bad move on my part. Come on, come on. Oh, nice turnaround. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna win the fight here. Now you're too close. Where is he? Yeah, it's pretty much hopeless to try and get any kind of fire. It's so hard to get the arrow. Turn rate, what is turn rate? Nope. Good fight. Looking around for you here. You flying straight. Oh yeah, I think you're I got You're looking you. right at me. Yeah, I think I got you on scanner here. I got an indicator. Yeah, you're looking pretty much right at me. Alright, that's you ready? Yep. Alright. Yeah. Let's let's get me back to Grim Hex. Hopefully not in prison. I doubt that. Let me see here. So we actually want to slow down a little bit. I don't want to keep myself in a circle. I don't want to engage until I'm within range. Shields under fire. Get that turret rocking dead. Now I want to actually strafe down into the left here. Now I can strafe up. Now I can strafe in that direction. Get my guns up. Oh, nice. Nice fake out. Actually strafing down into the left to extend the circle. Oh, there it is. oh that, okay. Uh. So here we have an ace versus ace situation here where we have a Vanguard Harbinger versus our very own Avenger Squadron's O'Brien in the Arrow in atmosphere and Hurston, so heavy gravity. So here we go into the merge as we're going and engage our target here. And the thought process behind this fight here is I thought maybe if I get the distance and kind of keep forcing those nose to nose engagements against the arrow, I'll come out on top with just sheer crazy amounts of firepower. And I'm hoping my turret gunner can apply some damage as I'm in close like this. But it's very difficult to apply damage to a small moving target, even at close range, depending on the kind of quality of pilot. And we've got definitely a high quality pilot flying the arrow here. My distance against him is too close. It's just way too close. I've let him get too close to me without punishing him as he tries to get close to me. Because my thought process was I can stand up and bang with the arrow at close range, which was just a plain and simple mistake. This is the second time where I've tried to give my back and use my main thrusters to get away but the arrow and atmosphere like slides right through like it's a knife through butter whereas the vanguard is typically more like a ford truck trying to push its way through a lake you've definitely got some resistance to overcome so the top speed on the vanguard through atmosphere especially something as thick as hurston it's definitely going to give you a bit of a disadvantage against something small fast like this here is a good point in the fight where the uh, arrow of O'Brien does a really solid corkscrew maneuver at the right time to get himself out of harm's way at the critical moment where I would be applying damage, which gets him in a great position to start walking around me even more. 
The arrow gets its time to get its shields back up. You'll notice that it's a red structure. So I have shot it to pieces mostly, but it's still alive and it's still applying damage to me. I try to get some distance with the main thruster for the third time and it gives him another chance to drop a lot more shields before I have a chance to turn towards him. This is another mistake on my part flying the vanguard in this situation which eventually leads to the like the defeat of the vanguard. So moving into the round two I think okay obviously disengaging through atmosphere with main thrusters is just simply not working. I really wanted to give it a test and see if it would work but so much weight and so much resistance on the air it's just, just simply not worth it. So the other option is to stay a little further away at the initial onset of the fight. You'll see me strafing left here, kind of getting my position, getting my approach angle set, watching his direction as he's moving in. And now I start to shoot a little further at range. But what I want to do is I want to apply that pressure to him as he tries to move towards me. Now I'm down strafing it to the left, always opposite strafe direction from the direction that he's trying to walk around me. So he's trying to walk around me up into the right on my screen, which means I'm going to force him down into the left with my strafe, which is going to extend the distance between me and him. And I watch closely as he tries to push himself towards me. I don't worry about any kind of counter maneuvering. And what I'm doing is I'm just punishing him as hard as I can as he tries to close the distance against me. It's not a question of if the arrow can close the distance. It will. The question is, will it survive until it gets on top of me? And the question for that was no in this situation. But we have to understand why. The proper use of strafe directions against somebody's orbital direction is really what gives me the advantage in this situation. If on my screen the enemy is orbiting me in a top right-handed corner, I want to strafe down into the left to extend the circle to make it more difficult for him to get his position onto me, which gives me more time and more distance, equaling more time on target because the turn rate battle is delayed as long as I can because I don't want to get into a rate fight with an arrow, which I simply will lose, right? So for people flying big heavy ships like the Vanguard, they have to understand that the Vanguard is probably in one of the best spots it's ever been in. Even for a very high quality pilot like O'Brien, for him to get in on me in the Vanguard, especially in atmosphere, is an almost impossible task. So he's got two options, either to stay at far range or to get so blitzingly close to me like last fight where he's always at an extreme risk of getting lined up on. If he makes any mistakes, he's dead. But in this situation, we seem to have come out on top in the end there because we can keep the distance as far as we can. We can extend it with the proper strafe directions. No forward throttle was used once I got within three, 400 meters. I, I want to keep my distance away from him. But no reverse thrust was used either. This was all strafe directions and challenge directions depending on the orbital direction that the enemy is attacking me in. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, all in all, the Vanguard Harbinger in, at in Atmosphere is, is running really smooth. I mean, really, really fucking smooth. Um, I'd say combat effectiveness for the Vanguard Harbinger in Atmosphere is a solid 8.5 out of 10. I mean, it's not doing as well as something like the Talon or the Cartual or some of these other kind of born and bred atmospheric ships, but... With the sheer gargantuous weight of the Vanguard series in in atmosphere, although you do take a small uh, speed hit, I mean that thing is just a lumbering monster, and if it gets its guns on you, it's game over. It's just game over, right? So um, Vanguard pilots out there, understand that your ship is in an extremely powerful position, almost borderline too powerful, especially for it, its ability to fight in the duel. Um, but. Whew, 8.5 out of 10, baby. What a great fight from O'Brien. What a great kind of showcase for this ship and atmosphere. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I hope to see you guys out for stream. Thank you so much for all the love and support I've been getting, guys. I wish I could have the words to express how much it really means to me that you guys are supporting the channel. We've grown so much in just a, few, a short amount of time, so thank you so much. Leave a comment. It really, hopes, it really helps with the algorithm. Take a look at Predator Mounts if you're interested in getting something for your uh, for your sticks to mount to your desk. It's the ones I use, and they're fantastic. 
and I hope to see you all up for stream, guys. I was Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.